Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. In today's episode, we will be learning how to make the Conquistador Cuff Paracord Bracelet. This design was inspired by the works of Paraborneo and Pinoy Paracordist 21. You're getting a two for one with this tutorial as I'm showing you two different versions of the same bracelet with different diameter cords. One with 550 and one with 95. I'll be demonstrating with the 550 for clarity and speaking more about the 95 requirements at the end of the video. This bracelet does take a decent amount of time to make, but right now a lot of us have plenty of that, so let's get into it. In terms of materials, I have Digital ACU 550 at the core for the frame of my bracelet, and I'm using OD Green 550 for the main weave. I'll have the requirements for the 95 cord version at the end of the video. To start this one off, I'm going to set up my Digital ACU strand on my jig, and I'm just going to tie two snake knots at the end to keep it hitched on the nails. Also, when using a jig for this pattern, don't put too much tension on the core at first as it will make starting out the bracelet a little difficult. Next, I'm going to roughly measure out about two feet or so of paracord in between my pinched fingers here. And then starting on the right side core strand, I'm going to tie a lark's head knot. I do this by laying the cord on top of the core strand and then I go back under the core strand from right to left. From there, I bring the running end upwards and over the cord itself, and then back under the core strand to the right. And then from there, I bring the end over the core strand and under the loop to complete the lark's head. Now working with the longer end on the bottom of that first lark's head knot, I'm going to bring it to the left side and go under the left core strand and then bring it downwards while going over the opposite OD green strand. Then go under the core strand on the left and bring it back over the core strand and through the loop to complete the lark's head. From here, working with the OD green strand on top, I'm going to weave it back and forth going over and under the two top core strands like doing a fishtail weave starting by going under on the left side for four knots. After these four knots I'm going to use my fid and take the terminal end down through the fishtail knots on the right side and then go up the fishtail knots on the left side. I think this section makes a nice transition to the start of the bracelet, but if you feel you have a better method, feel free to try that out. After that, you will have to firm up that fishtail starter knot and get it as tight as possible. Next, we can start our conquistador weave. I'll begin by making two counterclockwise loops around the two middle strands in between the two lark's heads. So as you're making these first couple of loops, just do your best to keep the cord untwisted. And also there's no need to make these first couple of loops too tight because you will need to start the conquistador weave going through them. After I've made those two loops, my running end should come out the front like so. From here, I'm going to tie another lark's head by going over the core strand to the outside and then coming back under the core strand like so. And I apologize for being a little out of frame there. I'm going to then bring the running end downwards back under the core strand to the right and bring it back over the core strand going through the loop to complete the lark's head. Continuing on, I'm going to weave the running end under the strand that starts the lark's head on the right side. And I'm going to continue this conquistador weaving motion going from right to left.
The next loop will be woven through the loop in the middle going from the left side of the loop to the right. I use my knotter's tool to open up those loops and make it a little bit easier. Following that, I do the same looping method through the first loop. You might find your cord twisting and not cooperating when doing this, so what I would suggest is to try to untwist the cord as you're pulling it through the loops with your index finger and thumb. Now that I'm back to the left side, I will do another lark's head using the same method as before. I'm going to go over the core strand on the left, back under the core strand coming out above the running end strand. I then go downwards and back under the core strand and finally back over the strand and through the loop to complete the lark's head. At this point, I will do another row of conquistador loops, but this time going from the left to the right, using the exact same method as before. Starting with the first loop that is part of the lark's head knot and continuing with the loops in the middle, making my way across. From here on out, the conquistador loops will be much easier to weave as they are now angled. From here, you will continue this pattern going down your core strands until you've reached your desired length. I've come down to the running end of my woven section and I will end with the running end coming out the front as I've only tied half of the lark's head knot. To complete the bracelet, I'm going to use the same method I did up top and weave back and forth four fishtail knots going across to the opposite side, going under the strand to start. Once I've woven this fishtail section, I'm going to pull my running end through the fishtail section like before. I ran a little short on cord here, which is why I'm using my hemostats, but you should have enough cord to do it with your fid. And of course, after this, I'm going to cut off the excess bits of paracord on the top and bottom and melt them with my lighter and press down on them with the Nars tool. With that done, I'm going to tie the tried and true diamond knot at the end. You can choose whatever lanyard knot you want. For my full tutorial on that, please check the link in the card or description box. Lastly, this part is optional, but I'm going to use about a foot and a half of microcord to tie a small cobra knot section to make a little tab. So not only does this little cobra knot tab uh, look great, it does have function as well. So in case your bracelet isn't uh, super tight around your wrist. The little tab makes it easier for the diamond knot to stay within the loop section of the clasp. And um, you can also do the DNA version of this by just doing the cobra knots on one side and you'll get that nice twisted effect. And once done, I'm going to cut off the excess, melt it with my lighter and press down with the knotter's tool. So there we have it. There is the Conquistador cuff and here are both versions. I actually prefer the 95 cord version as I think it looks uh, even more pleasing to the eye. And also just as personal preference, I do like thinner, slimmer bracelets. For the 95 cord version, I used approximately 18 feet of 95 cord 
and about the same amount of cord for the core strand. So I hope you all like this project while it is time consuming, especially the 95 cord version. I'm sure a lot of us have some extra time to spend right now, so I would definitely give it a try. That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as three bucks a month. You can also support this channel by liking and commenting on the video. And also feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed what I did in this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.